I have a rotator cuff tear and I'm scared if I exercise I'll make it worse. So this sounds logical and understandable and a legitimate fear of a lot of people. If you've got a rotator cuff tear and you put load on it, you know, it's obvious to think, well, oh, it's going to tear it more and that tear is going to constitute less function, more disability, more pain down the line. And this obviously will then create people to avoid exercise and avoid loading up onto that problem. The, but this is not necessarily the right approach. Um, what does the research show with regards to loading up and exercising a rotator cuff tear, looking at it structurally and looking at the pain and everything else after the fact? What does it mean? So here we have a study where they looked at a four year period of time. So they looked at the tear size uh, at the beginning of the four years and the pain levels. And they looked at the pain levels and the tear size if it had increased and the pain had increased four years later. They compared people who were generally more active against people who were generally less active to see if there was a difference in the way that their pain and tear sizes developed over time. So unfortunately they found that the tear size did increase over time. It did increase and it did increase in the active group more. So their actual tear got more severe over the four year period of time. However, we already know that tear sizes of rotator cuff and other areas of the body don't correlate with pain. We've done studies on people who don't have pain, see tears. We see people who have pain, have tears. We already know there isn't very good correlation between a tear and their actual uh, pain and functional level. And that's very important to know here. And then remember, they also looked not just at tear size in this study, they looked at pain as well. And guess what they found here? They found that the group who were more active had less pain than the group who were less active. So it shows you that being active, loading up on your cough tear may make the tear worse, but doesn't make it worse in what you perceive. You'll have less pain if you're more active, you'll have more function if you're more active. And that's because you're making it have to do that. You're making the body adapt to the loads and demands you place on it. And if you're less active, your body's less tolerant and less able to do stuff. So this highlights that don't be too concerned about the tear itself being worse or not. Be concerned about pain levels and function levels. As long as pain is low and function is high, it's all good. You'd never go and see a physio saying, I've got no pain and my function's great, um, but I've got a tear. I've seen it on a scan. You'd be like, well, so what? Like, does it really matter? Um, not really. It matters that you're not in pain and you have good function. And that's what this highlights. So it shows you exercise is good. Even if you think the tear is gonna get worse, don't be put off by that. There is no correlation there. So you need to get it going, load it up, work it. Obviously you probably wanna consult physio to enable the right exercises, the right progression, the right guidance. And that's obviously what we do here, um, but that's definitely the way to go. So anyway, that's it for this video and I'll see you next time.